Bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. So happy to be back yet again. I thank God for you tuning in. Brothers and sisters, I want to talk today about a new dynamic that a lot of people are going through or experiencing. This is a relationship-based message. So whether you're married or engaged in a relationship, whatever the case is, there are ways that you can cultivate and maintain a relationship so that it can be not only thriving, but you can actually enjoy your spouse even the more. This is a relationship-based video because a lot of you people out there that are married are living a new normal. Some of you out there, stay-at-home mom, stay-at-home dad, whatever the case is, some people are working outside of the home, one person inside of the home, or people are just not working all together. I want to make this video specifically for people who just at a point where they're ready to literally cash in that insurance policy a little bit quicker <laughs> than anticipated. They are at wit's end or they're tired of seeing the person. They are drowning emotionally. They are at a point where they're beyond bored. They're borderline nutball. <laughs> you got to keep it together. Brothers and sisters, when you said I do, when you pick the one you picked... You never anticipated being in the house more than often. You actually was enjoying, oh man, you were enjoying the fantasy, many of you women out there, of having your husband come home in that nice crisp suit or that nice uniform. You know, you were having the food on the table. Many of you good wives out there, homes clean, the kids in their rightful place and order. And you ready to what? Greet your husband as he worked a long and stressful day. And you're there huh, as his superwoman, ready to not only feed him, but, but please him later on that night. Can I get raw and real? Oh, we're going to get into the new norm. We're going to get into the new dynamic Things that are not happening like they used to. How is things going to get back to the way they used to? Well, if you keep looking back, you're not going to appreciate the present. All right. So you have to what? Engage in your relationship in a different way. You're the one, huh? not me. You're the one who chose this person. You're the one who said that you will love them Till death do you part. You were the one huh, who said, yes, I will go out on a date with you. Yes, I will what spend my time. And now, now, many of you out there are in a situation, not a relationship. huh? You're in a situation where you're not only frustrated, but you're at a place where you're downright borderline hating the person. Oh man! Oh, let's just get. Let's just go there. Let's just go there. Me personally, thank God by the grace of God, my husband and I's relationship. Just so you know, is not only thriving, but we are closer. I believe closer and closer and closer than ever. Why? Because. My husband and I have been through so many different obstacles, changes. I mean, we, from day one, literally, from being in a long-distance relationship, going through all of that, even now where we are, our marriage is so strong that it can even get even stronger. And I'm here to give you guys tips because I know huh, that unless... You get used to something new. You're not going to realize that this is actually a testing. This is a testing of your relationship. This is a benefit. You going through something new and uncomfortable is going to hear me at the end. Bless your relationship. So hold on tight. Hold on tight. Yes, it may not be the setup that you fantasized. Why? Because you were living in a fantasy world. Oh, yeah. You thought, can I just get real with you? Okay, great. You thought that before the Rona was on the scene and all that is crazy meant was on the scene, you thought that your relationship was going to be like it was in your greatest fantasy. 
When you saw other people and you had relationship goals, you were trying to what emulate and live through different people. And now (laughs) when things are different, And life is beginning to be real and the four corners of your room is just squeezing in just a little bit more. You're ready to what? Wild out. (laughs) Can I get real? You are ready to what? Cook the steak with a little bit more seasoning than usual. Maybe some arsenic to blast him out, to get the money. I'm telling you the truth. There's a lot of women out there that are frustrated, that are tired. Why is he home? Huh? I'm tired of seeing this man. Why? He's funky. You will pick out every nook and cranny to not like this guy to the point where you are actually thinking about what? Stepping out. Or brother. <laughs> She doesn't have her sophisticated suit on. Maybe she lost her job, huh? And now she is not emulated like the woman that you thought she was. Huh? Maybe she has that house dressed on just a little bit longer than you anticipated. And you are, what, fixated with the heels and the short dress. Her going out to work each and every day. And now that the job situation has strategically and subsequently changed. Now you are at a different dynamic in your relationship and you're ready to bail out. Now that I laid down the foundation, I want to talk a little spiritual and how this all is going to coincide and the importance of keeping it all together in your relationship. First of all, okay, first of all, when you go through something in your relationship, right? that God has put together. God is literally trying to test your faith and test your world, your own words. You said, I do. You said you love this person. You are the one that spent upwards of thousands of dollars for a reception. Oh, now (laughs) when everybody went home and it's you and that person in the house and there's nowhere to go, there's nowhere to hide. It's either you go upside your heads or you come together and make it work. Well, how do I do that? He was usually always out in the house and working. Well, how do I do that? She was always out and I would see her from time to time. You know, the red eye would come and she would be balling and she would take plane trips and, you know, but but, but, but she's here. Day after day, they're here. And it's driving me nuts. Well, the reason why it's driving you nuts <laughs> is because the relationship prior to Rona wasn't cultivated enough. Oh, and now it's time to cultivate that relationship. And now it's time to get real. And now it's time to really see. I don't want to say really see what you bought. <laughs> really see what you bought into. How, how about that? Because the person is not property. See what you bought into. Did you buy into the hype of this person being a certain way forever? Did you buy in to the notion of this person will look a certain way? Huh? Some of you out there are sniffing and sneezing. Some of you out there are not as healthy as before. Some of you out there gained a little bit of weight while you've been on this Rona situation. Hiatus. Things are changing, brothers and sisters. What are you going to do? What are you going to do in your relationship? Are you going to cultivate it? Are you going to come together? Or are you just going to toss them out like old dirty sheets? Brothers and sisters, on a spiritual level, I believe that the enemy is not only watching you, but calculating the fall, calculating the breakup, calculating you losing your mind. And that's exactly what he's trying to make you do. He wants you to be so frustrated with the person that's living with you to the point where you hate the person. You hate them waking up in the morning. You hate looking at them. You hate their very existence and the air they breathe. That's what Satan wants you to do. But God, on the other hand, brothers and sisters, wants you to love them, wants you to serve them, wants you to Get to know yourself a little bit more and the reasons why you were put strategically in that relationship in the first place. 
that person needs something you have. I said that person that you're with, that you live with, needs something great that you have. And you need something that they have. You just don't know it yet. Because you're stuck on pride and you're stuck on image. And a lot of you are stuck on variety. You go to the supermarket and you're so used to options. Oh, man. But now, huh? That the parks are closed. Oh, man. We're getting somewhere. Now that the clubs are closed. A lot of the restaurants are closed. A lot of the fantasy is closed. You got to learn how to cook. You got to learn how to compensate. You got to learn how to entertain in four walls. You got to learn. You got to learn. You got to learn a new normal. And sometimes learning that new normal means that you not only have to be creative, but you have to be consistent. Huh? And not a lot of people want to be consistent. A lot of people want to pay people to, oh man, I'm done. It's over, but not yet. (laughs) I said a lot of people want to pay people to build a fantasy. I can pay somebody that has a skill that can make me happy. Follow me. I can pay a pilot, right? that has a pilot license that can make me happy. Why? Because now I can invite this person on an airplane and subsequently my happiness is contingent upon his pilot license. Oh man, I'm done. I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I'm breaking it down again. Okay. You go to a restaurant. My happiness is contingent upon the fact that a waiter can cook food good. Meanwhile, you can go home and whether you got to YouTube it or just learn huh, how to cook a steak, but no, you don't want to do that. You're so used to going out. See, now you have to do the work and you're pissed off. Brothers and sisters, I can go on in this video, but this video, it's escaping me. If you hadn't got anything out of this video, realize that it takes you and that person and God Almighty in the center to make your new normal blessed.